Hey YouTube, welcome to episode 5 of my Unity Android game tutorial. Um, in this episode we're going to be making an enemy that follows the player. Uh, it's going to look a little bit like this. So if we play the game, this is my test scene by the way. Um, obviously we're still going to have the joystick and all that good stuff, but we're going to be using Windows controls to test it. Um, so as you can see, we just got this enemy chasing around the player. Um, he just avoids obstacles and stuff. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. First, we're going to need to go to this GitHub link and download this package. Um, so you're going to want to go here. I'll have a link in the description. Go to clone or download, download zip. And then, I can just close this. Close. Okay. So, we're back in our actual game. Um, we're going to right click on the project folder uh, and then show an explorer and this is going to bring up either your windows mac or linux file explorer so you're going to want to go into assets and then just have this open and once this is done downloading you're going to drag the zip file into your assets folder and once you have that you're going to right click and uh, extract here so once you get that done uh, just delete this open this and um, we're good for now that's all we're gonna have to do with that file so go back into our game just gonna set everything up okay so once that finishes loading we're gonna go into here alright so in the hierarchy right click and make a new uh, empty object we're gonna call this uh, just an av mesh Um, before we do this, actually, we're going to make some edits to the ground, because right now it's kind of uh, fucky. Kind of, it's not going to work very well for what we want to do here. So, uh, first of all, I'm just going to delete it. Next, I'm going to, instead of making another uh, another plane, I'm going to make a cube. Just call this ground again. Then, zoom in on that, you can see, obviously it's very small. Uh, let's move it down. I think we need to move it. Or actually, let's scale up the y-axis so it's a little thick. Put that at a three. Uh, make this a negative 1.5. If I, yeah, that works. And then once you have that, we're gonna change the width of it and the length. So scale on the x is gonna be 50. And then scale on the z is gonna be 50, and that should be good for our game. So. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to make another empty game object, and we're going to call it uh, Obstacles. And we're going to put our cube, if you have the cube, you might not. But, um, actually, wait, what? Okay, so, looks like there's been a little malfunction. Yeah, so we're going to put our cube in the Obstacles. Um, I don't think I've actually showed you how to make the cube, so you already know how to make materials. Make a new material. And once you do, do that, you'll have this, and then you go into here, and you play around with these settings so you get a color you like. Um, and then you just drag that onto the cube. And then it will be red. So, I'm going to copy and paste this a couple times, put them around. Alright, so that should be good. Um, I have about 21. 22 in here right now so that is fine uh, the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna make a new 3d object and that's gonna be called or not 3d object we're gonna make a new empty game object we're gonna call it nav mesh and we're gonna drag this to the top um, just to keep it out of the like world elements and stuff actually let's delete this one whoops I already did it so go into this guy I'm gonna put it at zero 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 just because reasons. Um, I don't think you actually have to. I'm going to. Then we're going to add a component called a nav mesh. Or nav mesh um, surface. And this is going to bring up this script. Uh, what we're going to do under agent type, um, actually before we do anything further, I know I keep interrupting, uh, we need to make a enemy. So let's make a cube. Um, bring it up on top of the uh, ground. And then, uh, 
let's put it at y of 1 or 0, I think that would work. Actually, let's scale it first. So let's put it at like 3, just for now. So the height, I'm going to do 4. And then the width, I'm going to do 2. For the x and z axis. And then this thing, I'm going to do 2. So that works fine. Um, and this is going to be our enemy. So let's call it that. And we're going to move it a little bit over here. So the next thing that we're going to do with this is make it a material. So make a material. I'm going to make it green. Make a nice dark-ish green. Not too saturated. What? Okay. Yeah, and then just drag it on. And drag it here. And then the last thing we're going to do on this enemy for now is we're going to make a new layer. The layer is going to be called enemy. And that is it. Okay. We're also going to make a new layer called player. And we're going to go into enemy, set the layer to enemy, and go into the player, and set the layer to player. And that works, and now we can go back into our nav mesh. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a new agent. Um, this is basically this is going to be a called or something called the nav mesh agent and um, the nav mesh is going to guide this agent around to a desired location in this case the location is going to be the player's position so um, let's set the size of this the radius is 2 the height is 4 um, the max step height I'm going to set it at 0.5 and that should actually just be fine and then um, we're going to go back into our nav mesh and scroll around a little bit. Shit. Oh, wait, no, we're in the lighting thing for some reason. Alright. So once we're back here, we're going to. So that. Alright, so if I bake this, I can show you what the issue is um, that we need to solve right now. It thinks that uh, this guy and this guy are both things that need to be avoided, but they're not. So. We need to go to include layers and then deselect enemy and player. And now bake it, and you see that goes away. And um, if we played it now, nothing new would happen because there's no actual agent to do the shit. Yeah, let's actually rename this to enemy. Save it. And then go into enemy, and then we're going to add a new component to enemy called the nav mesh agent. Now, here we're going to decide the speed. I'm going to do like six because I think the player is at four if I'm correct I know the players at where's the script okay yeah the player has a speed of eight so we're gonna give the enemy a speed of six so we have a little bit of an advantage uh, over it but not that much so now we need to make a script so that the enemy actually follows the player so let's go into scripts crazy sharp script and we're gonna call it enemy So we don't need um, the start function. We need a couple of variables. We need um, public. Uh, we need public nav mesh or not nav mesh shit. Um, nav agent agent. And then we're gonna select this and then Alt Enter. Oh wait, shit. No, 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 no. All right. So we're gonna copy this. We need to use a new library, and it's gonna be. Unity Engine dot AI, and then that's going to give us the nav nav mesh agent. There we go. And then the next variable is going to be a public transform target, and that's going to be our player. And then we need a public vector three um, last target pause. All right. So um, in the update function, it's pretty simple. We're going to do if last target pause is not equal to target dot position we're going to uh, do agent dot set destination um, actually before we do that we're going to do last target pause equals target dot position target dot position not target dot poo and then we're going to do 
set destination last target pause so save all that and then we go back into the editor uh, find the enemy go to the inspector and then we just drag this on and now all we have to do is assign the variables so agent is um, enemy target let's just drag in player and then save and then play and then as you see um, he will follow you follow you around avoid all the obstacles and stuff um, if you actually go to the edge of the map I don't think he'll go that far in yeah so we're gonna have to fix that at some point but for now we have a pretty functional enemy following system um, so if you enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe um, I'll be posting a new tutorial soon at some point we're gonna make this All right, so the plan for the enemies is we're gonna add um, uh, like a spawning system they're gonna come in waves and your score is gonna be based on how many waves you survive you're also gonna have a health thing you can add some power-ups later down the line and um, that's basically it also I'm gonna make it so that if you fall off this first of all you actually fall and because right now it's just going very slowly and you also die so yeah like comment and subscribe and have a nice day see you